Hey, what's going on my friends? My name is Python and welcome back to another episode here of Building with Python. I do hope you guys are having a lovely day. Thank you so much once again for all of the beautiful support that you guys have been showing my way lately. I do truly appreciate it. And well, if we can keep it up with the fantastic support that's been going on in this series, that would be absolutely beautiful. So what are we doing here in the nether, ladies and gentlemen? Well, the goal is very, very simple. We try and find ourselves a nether fortress. Why do we want another fortress, you may be asking? Well, well, we need ourselves some brewing stand fuel, don't we? So we're going to need to kill some blazers. And also, I think it would be a cool idea to get ourselves a sort of nether wart as well. It is going to be a super, super fun time. But of course, this is a building-centered episode. So I think what I'm going to do is just sort of explore this place on my own for a little bit. And then, if we find ourselves a fortress, then we might do a little bit of a looting montage. And let's not forget, my friends, soul fire lighting exists. So I think it'll be in our best interests to pick up some soul soil as well. Ah, expanding our building palette one day at a time, ladies and gents. And let's not forget, my friends, we do have Optifine, so we have the opportunity to do this. Yeah! Rid the fog entirely, and that is going to make trying to spot things from a distance way, way easier. And well, as you can see, way over there is indeed a nether fortress. And I did notice over there as well, there's a bastion. Ah! Okay, so I've got a bit of a fan club following me, and well, I've got low health, and I've just had to put myself in this hole here. <laughs> oh god! Oh god! This isn't going well, guys. I'm just trying to get myself over to a freaking nether fortress. How hard could that be? Here we are, guys. We're slightly on fire, but no matter. <laughs> oh, hey. How are you doing? How much damage do you do? Oh, 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 baby. Okay. Yeah, you do a fair amount of damage against people with only iron armor, huh? Holy poop sack. All right, let's get this montage underway. we go, ladies and gentlemen. We are just about done with the nether for today. Oh boy, there's a freaking skeleton trying to kill me. <laughs> so yeah, by all accounts, a very, very successful trip. We've got ourselves the nether warts we're looking for. We have the ability to plant them down and make them renewable now. We've got ourselves a ton of saddles and various other tools. We've even got three diamonds out of it, which I think is pretty dang nice. So let's go ahead and cure the remaining zombie villagers. You may have seen in the little intro intro sequence there. If you've got eagle eyes, I've actually got all of the zombie villagers now, guys. We have the remaining six. All right, so most of them... Yeah, look at that. This one is holding dirt block. That one's holding a dirt block. A lot of these guys are actually holding dirt blocks. I think the best thing is we managed to get ourselves even more gold so we can finally make our final golden apple. I had five on me already just from doing a little bit of mining, but there we are. Six gold apples at the ready. Quick life hack on Minecraft. You want yourself a hidden but infinite water source for your water bottles? Just place down a slab and then waterlog it, and then you can still right-click on this to your heart's content. Look at that! <laughs> Absolutely beautiful. All right, so a spider eye, a brown mushroom, and finally a bit of sugar will allow us to make ourselves one of these bad boys, and that's all you need. You don't even need to use nether warts to make yourselves splash potions of weakness. So honestly, I've never actually tested just how far the splash potion of weakness can go. So if we do it like bang in the middle here, one, two, three, four. Holy poop, that's loud. But guys... Very nice. <laughs> very, very nice. Wow. So in terms of what I'm going to make these guys into, I am thinking a farmer, all of the smith villagers, and then two clerics. Okay, I think that'll be a pretty good thing to go for. So let's go ahead and get these things inserted. So we've got the brewing stands right there. Very, very nice. And then we've got the composter and all the various other bits and bobs here as well. Yeah. 
All right, all of these folks are going to have insanely cheap prices. And then, yeah, there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. 10 out of 10 villagers fully stocking up our freaking thing here, dudes. Absolutely fantastic. You know what I'm also going to do? I'm going to put in a bell. Boop. So in terms of building in today's episode, I think that it would be a very, very nice idea to decorate the nether portal area down there. Kind of the same style that we've done with the enchant area there. And then I also think it would be a nice idea to finally start work on the farmland. That is right, ladies and gentlemen. It is going to be a lovely time. I'm very much looking forward to it. And hopefully you guys are excited as well. But for now, what I think I'm going to do, just for a little bit, is trade with these villagers. And just see what kind of stuffs we can get going here. You know what would be cool, ladies and gentlemen, is if we can get this guy to sell a looting iron sword. I think that would be absolutely fantastic. In terms of, you know, changing over what these guys trade, this is probably going to be the only guy I sort of, uh, you know, mess around the trades with and see if we can get something good. I mean, I know for a fact, for example, that you can get looting two swords from these guys. So, I'm going to keep going until I get one of those, because if I buy two of them, then we have looting three. Yeah! There we are, guys! I told you! I freaking told you, didn't I? You can get looting two swords from these guys and smite three is actually pretty good we get two of those we get smite four looting three which is really very good especially going against wither skeletons so you know what we're gonna lock that in place simply by buying an axe and then obviously once we have the required amount of emeralds we can buy these bad boys and there we have it ladies and gentlemen the lapis trade absolutely fantastic and we got a gold trade which is actually pretty good in this instance because yeah we can sell it, get the emeralds, get some lapis, and we can finally enchant our first tools and whatnot. So remember, ladies and gentlemen, we have a silk touch trade and we also have ourselves an unbreaking trade. So we don't even need to really prioritize those in terms of enchants. So we've got our diamond shovel and our diamond pickaxe here. We're going to go ahead and enchant both of them. Ooh, all right. We'll go for efficiency on the shovel. There we go. And it's got fortune on it. Damn it! <laughs> Why? All right, I'm going to do a scrap enchant on this one. And we're going to uh, disenchant it. And we're going to see if we can get ourselves... Nope, still no. Another dot enchant. We're looking for efficiency. It's efficiency or bust. There it is. And... Uh, Seriously? You know, anybody else would be absolutely ecstatic at the idea of having fortune come up on their first diamond pickaxe. Uh, but no, I, I want Silk Touch instead. I want to do building stuffs, man. <laughs> uh, although, I just realized I could make myself another diamond pickaxe because we found those three diamonds, huh? Unfortunately, this is the last of my lapis right now. So come on, baby. Hey, there we are. All we need is Silk Touch on that. And yeah, that'll be a pretty darn good start of Silk Touch pickaxe, aside from upgrading it up to efficiency five, which I guess we can do later down the line. So in one foul swoop, we'll be able to get ourselves enough ender pearls to guarantee ourselves an end portal frame right? There we are. 12 of them. <laughs> and I guess we might also be able to make ourselves an ender chest as well. Ah, oh, dang. We are upgrading so fast. I love this. This trading hall has been like an unbelievable crutch in terms of how fast we're progressing here. And I can't tell you guys how happy I am with it, honestly. So, in terms of the farmland, ladies and gentlemen, what I was thinking of doing is basically adding another sort of tier to this. So, obviously, we've got these support beams here. But we're going to have ourselves another load of support beams, right? Support beams everywhere, dudes. All right, so we're going to have a so, for example, uh, one up here. This is going to be the level in which the farm is actually at. And then, yeah, every few blocks, we'll go ahead and put down another pillar. So, let's say one, two, three, four, five. And then we, I don't know, let's place down another pillar like that. Okay. And then, obviously, we just sort of follow the terrain all the way around, right? So, one, two, three, four, uh, five. And then we'll go ahead and place down another one right about here. Here. You see? You see where I'm going with this? Nice and easy, right? So let's go another five. One, two, 
three, four, five. And I tell you what, let's put this one right in here. And then, yeah, we basically just keep going all the way around. And like I say, just follow the terrain. And then, since the landscape seems to go down here, we can make ourselves slightly shorter little pillars here instead. So, yeah, there we go, ladies and gentlemen. We've got, like, a small cross-section done here. So, we've got, like, the top tier there. We've got the lower tier here going up to the bridge. And I think that that is a very, very cool visual effect. I really do. Now, obviously, we could go ahead and do a very similar sort of, you know, foliage thing here. And, yeah, it could be great. Oh, my God, there's another zombie villager. I see you. I see you, but I now have no use for you. I have completely filled this thing up. There's no more space, dude. There's no more space at the inn. <laughs> so, how about it, ladies and gentlemen? I've got on the little tops on with the cobblestone. We've got on ourselves the fences in as well. And, well, this thing is really starting to get there. And, obviously, behind the fences, the, behind the walls there, is going to be where the farmland is. And, yeah, maybe we have a little windmill building there. Maybe a greenhouse. Maybe a little farmer's house as well. So, we can have a farmer villager or two. Now, obviously, we do have a farmer villager now inside of the trading union here. Here. But, you know, he hasn't been leveled up a whole bunch yet. So, you know, we've got a little bit to go. But I think it would be very, very cool to have a bunch more villagers at different little locations. So maybe a couple or a few farmer villagers at the farmer's area, for example. You know, all that kind of stuff. Basic stuff. There we are. A nice basic entrance into what will eventually become my farming area. Oh, dude, this is going to be so freaking sick, man. <laughs> I am excited. So what I'm probably going to do is like wipe out the terrain. Wipe out the trees. Wipe out everything that's on the floor here. And then we've almost got like a blank canvas to begin our farming land with. And then obviously we can do any landscaping and terraforming to our heart's content. And then obviously we can just start just going to town, getting the crops down. And then once we've done that, then yeah, we can absolutely start introducing some of the various bits of bobs back in. Some trees and little lakes and all that kind of stuff. I love doing big open farmland areas, guys. I don't know if you know this, but I really, really do love doing them uh, because there's just so much you can do to them. There's so much you can add to them in terms of nature, lakes, sugarcane, leaves, scarecrows, lamps, all sorts, guys. There's so much stuff you could do in farmland, and it's just going to be amazing. It really, really is. All right, guys. So a little bit of time later, and I've gone ahead, and I've basically wiped out most of the terrain features around here. The long grass is all gone. Oh, there's still little bits here and there, though. Get rid of that. There we are. And yeah, guys, what we're now going to do is a little bit of landscaping. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I do very much prefer having you know, smooth land for my farmland, right? So I think what we're going to do is go ahead and mostly flatten this area. We're still going to try and keep some of the sort of elevation changes going on, but you've got like tiny little splodges where the terrain goes a bit higher, for example, here. And I don't know, I just don't like that. I I've never really been a fan of that. So I'm going to go ahead and flatten it, for example. And then, obviously, we've got ourselves a bit of a pond over here. I'm not entirely sure if I want to try to adapt it and make it part of the area here, or I just go ahead and cover it entirely. Hmm. I don't know. But for now, eh, I'm not really sure. I may just leave it there for now, and we just carry on with our landscaping here. We're going to get rid of these uh, these mossy cobble boulders here. That's going to be something else we do. And yeah, like I say, we're just going to sort of smooth off the terrain a bit. And then we can probably start trying to figure out the water situation in terms of, you know, tilling over the land. All right, guys. So we got ourselves a really, really big area going on here. And it's very, very nice, isn't it? Look at that. It's just a fantastic sight. Now, as far as I know, can you... Oh! Interesting. Okay. You can't till over pods, though. That's kind of annoying. All right. Well, that's definitely put a little bit of a spanner in the works at the very least. We're now going to have to go ahead and replace all the pods all with either dirt or coarse dirt. Oh, boy. <laughs> Ah, I was rather hoping I'd just be able to till over the pods all just straight away. Ah, uh, but no. 
Ah, darn it. All right, guys. So there we are. We've got on ourselves mostly dirt. And yeah, we've got ourselves a little bit of coarse dirt here. But basically, you can double till it. It becomes dirt first and then farmland afterwards. So yeah, it kind of means you use up to durability on your hoe. But it doesn't really matter that much. So how do we want to do this? Maybe we try to figure out some sort of pathway first. Right, and then we get on with trying to figure out the water, you know, the water sources. We've got ourselves a couple of water buckets here right now, and that is because, uh, very quick, we are going to make ourselves a temporary infinite water source. Yes, yes, that is a good idea, Python. Okay, good -o. Right, how are we going to do this? I don't have a silk touch shovel, man. Having a silk touch shovel would allow us to go ahead and get grass, like, incredibly easy. You know what, it's actually kind of tempted to just go ahead and downgrade down to iron and then just make a whole bunch of fresh silk touch shovels. I mean, why the heck not, man? And here we are, ladies and gentlemen, a few silk touch shovels later, and we've got to sell some rudimentary pathways going on. Oh, freaking yeah. So one thing I also decided to do was just try to open up this lake a little bit more. A lot of it was sort of stuck underground or hidden underground. So I just went ahead and just sort of revealed it. And then, yeah, it's a pretty big lake, isn't it? We could totally do something with this. Make a fountain out of it or something. Decorate the outside of it. Yeah, I kind of like that idea, my dudes. I really, really do. So, yeah, in terms of this top area in particular, we've got on ourselves a very, very large amount of space. And, well, to be honest, I think it's about time. We need to go ahead and start thinking about how we're going to do this thing. Each bit of water will go ahead and saturate up to four blocks away. So this block here would be the fourth one. Three, two, one, and then, yeah, let's say, for example, we go ahead and place in a water source there. That would go ahead and moisturize all of these blocks up here, and then even four blocks over this way as well, and even all the way up to here as well, and maybe even just a little bit on this side as well. See? Whoa! That sound- Oh, God! Oh, uh, uh, there's an enderman freaking out. Okay, that's totally fine. Everything's fine. Super low-key, though. I kind of don't want to sleep because I want to see if I can get a skeleton horse to spawn in because I literally haven't seen one of those buggers in years. Okay? Literally- Oh, wow! Okay. Well, that was pretty near. Cool. All right, well, the rain should put that out. There we go. Nice. It would honestly be so cool if I could get a skeleton horse because, like I say, it's just been freaking years. Oh, God! Hell's blazes! Oh, baby! That, that actually legitimately scared the heck out of me! You know what? I don't think I've ever, ever been struck by lightning in Minecraft. Like, what are the chances of that even happening, huh? Oh! Okay, well, the rain didn't manage to put that tree out in time, huh? <laughs> oh, actually, that kind of makes me nervous for my own settlement now. Oh, boy. That could totally all go up in flames. <laughs> all right. So we've got ourselves a pretty large amount of farmland now. And I guess maybe the next thing we do is actually start placing it all in and just seeing how much we can do. It's going to take a little bit to actually fill up the entire farm with crops. But I think it's still going to look absolutely mighty, mighty fine, guys. So let's go and grab ourselves a bunch of seeds out of our little food hut. And then we are going to plant ourselves down a whole bunch of stuffs. Uh, what do we got here? Wheat seeds, pumpkins, we've got beetroot, we've got melons. And then down here, we've got ourselves potatoes and carrots, sweet berries. Oh, man, there's so many things I can plant down. Uh, I have a slightly different plan with the pumpkins and melons. Obviously, at some point, we're probably going to make an automatic farm out of them. But I've got a slightly different build idea that I want to try with them a little bit later on in the series. But for now, I just want to try, you know, the, the, the traditional crops that you get. Hey, Farmer Python activated. <laughs> oh, fantastic. Yep. That's about all I could do right now. <laughs> Man, this is going to be a long, ongoing project, isn't it? I don't have, like, an endless source of bones so far. So it's not even like I could just go ahead and bone meal this stuff and just, uh, you know, replenish it all over the place. So, yeah, we're going to have to do it the old-fashioned way and just wait. So, yeah. All right, so I think that's about as far as I want to go on the farmland in today's episode. So let's get on with the nether portal thing to finish 
off. And as I mentioned before, it's probably going to be the exact same sort of design as we went for with the enchant setup. So we're going to have ourselves a nice wood floor here. Very, very simple. And then we can decorate the walls just a little bit. All right, guys. So I've pretty much got it done at this point. I just want to go ahead and do just a tiny, tiny bit of decorating down here. Maybe some leaves, maybe some foliage, but a greenery, I think, would be a very, very nice addition. So, for example, we could do a little bit of that and then we could potentially bone meal that to make it double tall. Okay, maybe we have another double tall bit there. Maybe we can have like double tall grass here. And then, yeah, just just, just nice basic stuff, honestly. Nothing too out there. Uh, just some very, very nice basic uh, decorations, honestly, guys. So we get that in and then we'll have just a single one there. And honestly, that will just about do it. I really, really like the cobble ceiling. You know, all looks kind of crumbly. I kind of like that. I think that's a really, really nice aesthetic we've got going on there. So, ladies and gentlemen, that is indeed going to wrap it up for today's episode, though. We've done some farmland stuffs. We've done villager stuffs. We've got portal nether stuffs going on. It has been a heck of an episode. So, as always, we'll end off here with the comments of the day. We've actually got two today. X Cold Mouse says, hey, Python, why don't you put an underground bunker under that lake where you can have some farms? I think it would be really cool. I appreciate all the hard work that you put into your videos. Thank you so much for that, X Cold Mouse. And yeah, I was kind of thinking of some sort of farming district would be a good idea, huh? Because we really don't have any kind of farms going on right now. Uh, not like proper redstone automated farms, that is. And to be honest... That's not a bad idea. I mean, you know, if we just sort of hollow out underground underneath here, I think there's going to be a fairly decent amount of space to put a whole bunch of automated farms. You know, things like bamboo farms and sugarcane farms and uh, all sorts of other stuff. Cactus farms, just automatic nano farms, just all these kinds of stuff. Yeah, I think that's a nice idea. So yeah, I really appreciate that suggestion. And the second comment, GJ says, I have a good rule to implement into this series. No elytra in the overworld that should make all the different paths and roads get more love love the series again thank you so much for the kind words that is actually not a bad idea you know because honestly at the end of the day one of the goals that i have for the series is to make like a fully immersive minecraft world and yeah as much as flying around is great and all you know you kind of lose the feeling of oh hey we actually need to make paths and connect all of our builds together you know because you're just able to fly all over the place and get to your destination super quick uh so yeah i don't know i, I feel like that would add a good amount more immersion to the series if we just sort of don't use a light trick in the overworld although i am up for your guys's uh, feedback and suggestions regarding that so let me know in the comments area uh, what you guys think about that potential little rule for this series but for now ladies and gentlemen it's time to wrap up thank you guys very much for watching if you guys have enjoyed today's episode a bit of an all-rounder episode despite still being building heavy then yeah do be sure to drop a like rating i'd very much appreciate it guys hit the subscribe button don't forget to ding that bell so you don't miss out on future content but for now thank you so much for watching have yourselves a fantastic rest of your day and i'll see you guys in the next episode